in my cup. Hey, I'm in the mood to fuck something up. Hey cousin, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the game. My name is Tata LaBoss. I am a single mom of three and a serial entrepreneur. And here on my channel, I like to show y'all everything that I know how to do in the simplest way possible. On today's video, I will be showing y'all how to make a custom coloring slash activity book in Canva for the free 99. <laughs> I don't like to do all that talking. We're going to get straight into the video. Let's go. So I do have a chip bag template that is free for the time being. I will leave the link in the description just to make this process easier when you are making your own custom chip bag. Once you download the free template, you'll be able to open it with Canva. Again, it's www.canva.com. I am going to use this template and this is how it will show up for you. So today I am going to go ahead and create a like a happy Easter chip bag for my daughters just to go in their Easter basket. I don't have any specific design in mind. So y'all will see the thought process from the beginning to the end of me designing a custom chip bag. Now for my customers, when they order custom items, let me show you guys the information that I asked for. So I asked for obviously the need by date, the party type, the name, the age, the theme, the character and colors. Now first I am going to go to Google just to find a Easter background. So. Let me try to find that. Let's see. Okay, so I am going to use this picture. Now to upload the picture that I just downloaded, I would simply go to uploads here, upload files and select the picture. And there we have the picture. So I'm going to go ahead and fit it to that blue square. That blue square is the front of the chip bag. The black rectangles that you see here, those are the two sides of the back of the chip bags. And the top and the bottom where you see the white, that's the border for the chip bag. Now the next thing that I typically do is add the pictures of the kids. Right here you'll just see me removing the background. Now this is a pro feature. So if you do not have the Pro Canva account, you would just need to go to remove.bg to remove the background from the picture. And I will show that website here for you. Here it is. This is the website that you'll use to remove the background from the picture if you don't have the Canva Pro. It's not mandatory to have the Pro account. There is ways to work around it, but if you do have the Pro account, that's just an advantage for you. Okay, so now that I have all of the pictures, I'm just going to arrange them. Like I always say, y'all already know, when it comes to making custom items, there is no right or wrong way to do anything. You can make it however you want. This is your time to be creative. So do what best fits you and your customer. And because this is um, a happy Easter chip bag for my daughters, I'm looking for like a, more like a fun kids type of font. Okay, so I like this font right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with this particular font. Now the color scheme for this chip bag, I'm gonna go ahead and do, 
I'm gonna do pink and green. Those are the colors that I'm gonna choose for this particular chip bag. Now I'm gonna decide what I want on the back of the chip bag. I can either put a solid color or I can go ahead and go on Google and I can find like a little image that I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead on Google and see if I can find anything cool to use. Now I think this would be a cool background. So I am going to go ahead and save this picture right here. And again, I have to upload that picture to Canva. And just to let you all know, like I rarely, and when I say rarely, I mean like rarely make chip bags on my computer. I always make them on my phone. Just because I like when I'm either out and about or like just sitting down on the couch or whatever, I can get it done on my phone as opposed to having my computer with me. So you can do this on your phone. Don't think you need a Mac or a laptop. You definitely can do this on your phone. I would say 99% of the chip bags that I've ever made have been on my phone. Well, through Canva, let me say that, through Canva. When I used to use Microsoft Word, I definitely used the computer. So yeah, now you can see what I mean when I say you can use like a picture as a background on the back of the chip bag or you can just use a solid color. Okay, so just because I'm just showing y'all an example of how to make the custom chip bag, I am not going to make a custom nutrition fact label right now, but if y'all wanna see a video of how I make a custom nutrition facts, all you have to do is leave a comment and I will show you how to make one of these from scratch so you can put your own words in it. It is very simple. I'm gonna show you guys how I get one of these barcodes right here. So to get the barcode, you would just go to Google and type in barcode generator. The website that I use is called barcodeinks.com. And I'm going to type in Easter 2023. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this to my computer. And here we go, I'm gonna go ahead and add this so right under the facts. Now on this side here, I'm gonna go ahead and play with this a little bit just to see exactly how I want it because I really don't have a vision yet. So let me go ahead and turn the transparency down a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and just add some more pictures on this side here. And typically on the other side of the chip bag, I will write a little message like, thank you for coming to my party, or just depending on what the event is, I will write a little message that's pertaining to that. And obviously this is just like a little happy Easter, something that I put it in my kids' Easter baskets. So, I might write a little message, but I just want to put their pictures on there. Okay, so I'm going to add some text 
to this side of the chip bag. Um, just, I love you. And let me change the color to pink because I did say I wanted to do this pink and um, pink and green. Now the borders. Hmm, let's see what I want to do for the borders. I could either do a solid color or I can do an image. What I'm actually going to put this background over here. And I do have to send it all the way to the back. And for the borders, I'll go ahead and use the pink and green. I think that will be very cute. I'm loving how this is looking. Okay, y'all, so it's literally just that simple. This is how you would design your own custom chip bag. Next step, I will be printing this out and actually showing you guys the paper and the printer that I use. Now, I do use an HP printer and I highly suggest y'all sign up for the HP Instant Ink. It's a subscription-based printing service, which means you pay a specific amount a month and you can print. For example, like they may have a plan for $11.99 and you print 300 pages a month and they send you an unlimited amount of ink. They basically monitor your computer so they know when your ink is getting low and they'll automatically send you new ink. So it's a really, really, really cool program. I do highly suggest that you sign up. And if you do wanna sign up for HP Instant Ink, I'll go ahead and leave my link to try it for free for one month in the description box. So again, let me go ahead and print so this I out. use the HP Envy Photo 7155 and the paper that I use is glossy photo paper. You can either use double side glossy or one side glossy. For this particular example, this is just the one side glossy. As y'all can see, this is so vibrant and beautiful. I love my printer. It's actually designed for printing images. So the only two things that you will need besides the paper, of course, is a bag of chips and a hot glue gun. Let me go ahead and show y'all how I put it together. And just like that, we done, y'all. This is how to make a custom chip bag in Canva for the free 99. If you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. See y'all soon.